Number three is going to be a multiple choice. You want to convert a polar equation into rectangular. So what does that mean? It means that you want to get rid of the r's and thetas and instead have it with x's and y's. So there's some formulas that you need to know in order to be able to do this. So I'm going to write things down here. x equals r cosine theta. We have y equals r sine theta. And x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So these are the conversion formulas uh, that you need. When you take a look at this up here, you might think that we're going to put in x and y right away. But notice that we don't have an r squared there. And you don't want to put x squared and y squared on this side because that's not going to end up looking like any of the ones that you have here. So in this problem, what you want to do is multiply both sides by r squared first. Then we'll be able to plug in those. So I'm going to erase these. Hopefully, hopefully you have those down already. And so we're going to get, uh, we multiply, we get four, uh, we're going to have a r squared outside. So r squared times all this, 4 cosine squared theta plus 9 sine squared theta equals 36. So that's your first step right there is to multiply both sides. We've cleared out the r squared from this side. That's why you get 36. And you have r squared here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to distribute r squared into each of these. So we're going to get 4 r squared cosine squared plus 9r squared sine squared theta equals 36. Now, if we take a look at our answer choices, we notice that one of our answer choices is exactly that. So would that be our correct answer? Well, the answer to that is going to be no, because it says rectangular. Rectangular means that your answer has to have x's and y's in it. So although this is a correct step that we did here, it's not going to be rectangular because you have r's and thetas right here. So we need to keep on going with this one. Now what we can do on each of these is we can write it like this, r cosine theta, all of that quantity squared. And then we can do r sine theta quantity squared. That equals 36. So I'm purposely writing it this way so that way you can see our cosine and our sine that's going to be our x and y substitutions so we're going to get 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36 that means that b is going to be our correct answer here so this would be the answer for a rectangular equation now this question is also going to have a second part to it the second part is going to ask you to identify what kind of uh, equation or is, is this represent. If we wanted to graph it, what would we get? So let me write out that as well. So we do know our answer here, 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36. All right, now here's something else they're going to ask you. So okay, so they're going to ask you on this, um, what kind of graph is this? All right, and there's some multiple choice available for you uh, for that. But if it asks you for what kind of graph this is, we need to take a look at this one. We have, notice that both variables, we have x squared and a y squared. And the coefficients are both going to be different here and positive. So because of this situation, you have x squared, y squared, 4 and 9 are both different. If they ask you for uh, what shape is this, it's going to be an ellipse. All right, so you want to take a look at the, the rules uh, that was covered uh, in the section with hyperbolas that we did, and that will help you identify what it is. But again, it's because you have x squared, y squared. The 4 and the 9 are both positive, and they're different. It's an ellipse. Now, if that was a minus sign, I would have a hyperbola. If this was a 4 and that was a 4, if both those coefficients were the same, then you would have a circle. And then if one of them squared and one of them's not, you'd have a parabola. So 
different rules that you want to take a look at depending on the coefficients and whether the x squared, x and the y are both going to be squared.